public public ha ha uh, health buildings that can be used. And actually, we have to do this very rapidly, but we won't do it <coughs> if we continue to get the massive increase in activity that's currently going on in our foundation trusts and our Q trusts. This isn't them and us, please forgive me, it isn't them and us. But if, we're, if there isn't any space for us through resources, if there isn't any time because we're being dumped on right, left and centre, you have to see the four-page letters that a GP gets now. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Even to read the letter takes ten minutes, let alone to address it, because we're being used as essentially the SHOs for the hospital. Now, we're in discussion with, with, with the Chief Executive of, of the Trust, because they they're going to go bankrupt unless they start to invest in where disinvest in some of their services and invest in us. So I think the ducks are lined up. Paradoxically, I think they're lined up. The worry I've got is if they start to disinvest of their community services now before federations and primary care is ready, we're going to end up in a bit of a mess because we're going to end up with, with bucket loads of community services probably being farmed out to, to third parties such as the private sector with them leaving us completely for... for, for and we're going to get no coordination. So that's my concern.